Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Tumblr tutorial. In this video, we're going to make a fall themed Tumblr. We're gonna use a lot of glitter on this cup and some really cute pattern vinyl from Custom Designs by Shell. I had a lot of fun making this Tumblr and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, everything I'm using in this video will be listed and linked down below in the description box for you. I'll also have some discount codes, links to all of my social media pages and a link to join my Facebook group and to sign up for my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. When you become part of the Elite fam, you get a whole bunch of additional content from me. We do lives in our Facebook group. I give out free SVGs and digital files. We do cup swaps, cup challenges to challenge your creativity, and a whole lot more. So you can go to madebymanianmal.com slash MBMM Elite, or again, click the link down below in the description box if you would like to sign up. This design is actually from one of my Elite Fam members. We were on one of our Facebook Lives in our group and we were talking about what we were gonna do on the Tumblr we were working on in the live and I was talking about some upcoming tutorial ideas. I showed them this pattern vinyl. We were working with another piece of pattern vinyl in our live tutorial. And one of my members, Caitlin, suggested a design idea and I thought that would go really, really well with the pattern vinyl I had set aside for this tutorial and I asked her if I could use it in the video and she said absolutely of course so that's what I did thank you so much Caitlin for your idea I really appreciate you and I had a lot of fun making this tumbler so I hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you do make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already and I think that's it I hope you guys like it let's go We're starting with a white painted 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler and we're going to use the super cute fall pumpkin pattern vinyl. This is from Custom Designs by Shell. I will have her shop linked down below in the description box for you. This is an opaque vinyl. So our cup is white and ready to go and what we're going to do is cut out a section of this vinyl. We're going to apply it to the middle of the cup and then we're going to add our details to the top and bottom of the tumbler. So the 20 ounce skinny straight tumblers from Craft Haven are eight inches in height. So what I'm going to do is with my measuring tape here, hopefully I can do this. <laughs> I'm going to make a mark with my pencil two inches up from the bottom and two inches down from the top. And then I'm going to, oh, do I want to make them that big? Maybe I'll do two and a half inches. Yeah. So we'll do two and a half inches down on the bottom here and then two and a half inches up from the top, and that's where our decorations are gonna go. And then we'll have this whole middle section that will be our vinyl. So we'll have these two and a half inches up from the bottom, two and a half inches down from the top, and then we'll have a three inch section in the middle that's going to be our pattern vinyl, and that will equal eight inches in height. So with my measuring tape, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the vinyl, and I'm going to measure three inches. Just make a mark there and then I'll use my paper trimmer to trim that off. So I'm going to make sure everything is straight. And that's going to be our middle section. So we'll just put that right in there like that. Now using my cup cradle, this is from Cami Page Boutique. I will have it linked down below in the description box. I'm going to take that straight edge and I'm just going to use it to draw a straight line on my tumbler. You can also use the tumbler tool if you have that. Um, but I find that that's just a really quick and easy way to draw a straight line on your cup. And it's already in the cradle, so it works out. All right, so what I want to do is cut back a little bit of this vinyl from the backing, or cut the backing away, I guess. So we have a little bit of adhesive exposed. And what I'm going to do is take this... And I want to make sure that my vinyl first is lined up where it needs to be. And then I'm going to line up the straight edge of the vinyl with the straight edge that I drew with my pencil. So I'm just going to estimate here, make sure that we're even and straight. will be just like that. 
So now I can smooth the rest of this vinyl onto my tumbler using my squeegee, of course. And then once we get to the seam, as always, I'm gonna cut a little bit wonky just to kind of camouflage that seam in the slightest bit. So just cut around those pumpkins so it looks a little bit more hidden and isn't so obvious. Once you've got all of your lines on, you can go through and erase the rest of your pencil line. Okay, so that's clean enough. Now we can work on this part of our cup. So with my two inch painters tape here, I'm just gonna tape off this middle section so we don't get any paint or glitter on it. All right, so I measured our tumbler and we're at about 9.34 ish inches wide. Now, if you want, you can, if you have a template, like if you own a tumbler template, like a Tangram or whatever, you can just check the measurements for whatever tumbler you're using. If you're using a different brand, you'll want to double check your measurements because some tumblers might be different in size based on the brand. So we're going to go with 9.34 inches wide. And I want to do an even number of stripes here. So we want to do either, we want them to be small enough that you can see a lot of them. And ideally we'll have a multiple of four. So I either want to do 12, 16, or 20 strike. We're going to do some math here. So if we take our 9.34 and we divide it by 12, we'll have a 0.77 whoa, seven, seven, eight inches wide stripe. And if we do 9.34 divided by 16, we'll have a 0.58375 inches. 9.34 divided by 20 is going to be a 0.467. So I think actually 0.467 is pretty close to half an inch. I mean, so is this. But if we do 20, that means we're gonna have five of each stripe because I have four colors picked out. And I think that that's pretty good, five of each stripe. So what we're going to do is, is essentially this for my visual people. So we're gonna do color number one, color number two, color number three, and color number four. And we're gonna do that five times. And it's going to go all the way around and eventually we're going to meet up at the end and it's going to repeat and so you're not going to be able to know where the colors end if that makes sense everything should be the same size and should be very even so i'm going to cut out my stencil vinyl i'm going to cut out 20 stripes at 0.467 inches in width all right so i've got my stripes cut out here i'm going to weed them out I cut as many that I could fit on one sheet and we're just going to cut them apart because obviously we don't need this full length here. So what I'm going to do is take stripe by stripe. I've drawn a straight line on my tumbler so that I can keep everything straight. So I'm just going to take my first stripe here and I'm going to line it up with this straight edge. Just like that. Cut off the excess at the bottom. And then I'm just going to continue to work my way around the cup here, just like that. Just making sure that everything is lined up as nicely as I can get it. So you can probably get maybe three to four stripes out of one long stripe. Probably three or four, I guess, if you're more accurate than me and you're cutting. 
but that'll be good. There you go. So four stripes from one long stripe. So I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around the cup and then we will move on to the next thing. So once I finished the bottom part of the tumbler, I moved on to the top and I'm doing the exact same thing up here. So I took one of my longer stripes and I lined it up with one of those bottom stripes as you can see. I just wanted to make sure that my stripes looked like they were one long stripe and then they were kind of divided in the middle by that pattern vinyl, if that makes sense. So I just lined that first stripe up so I could make sure everything was in order. And now I'm just gonna continue putting these same exact stripes around the top portion of the cup and then we will base paint and glitter them. So now that this is all taped off or stenciled off, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to number my stripes from one to five. So I'm just gonna use my Sharpie to label these and I'm gonna keep them the same on the top and the bottom. So our stripes are going to look like one stripe going all the way down. Okay, so my initial plan was to do four colors five times, but we're gonna do five colors four times. So I grabbed my vinyl and I just picked a few glitter colors that I thought went well. So we're going to use Olive Dream. All of these colors are from Peachy Olive Glitters, by the way. We've got Turks, October, and this is a color from the newest Peachy Palette. This is a Honey Creek Creations custom mix. It's called October and it is so pretty. And then I've got this little custom mix I made. This is using Cheesy Poofs. Super NES and Opal Majesty. Cheesy Poofs is like a pearlescent color, so I added these two to make it more sparkly. So we're gonna use that. And then I also grabbed Lux to match this kind of gray, white, eggshell-y kind of color. So we're gonna use those five colors four times. We're going to use our alcohol ink markers to paint our base for our glitter colors. If you wanna use acrylic paint, you can. You can use whatever kind of base coloring technique you want. Um, I use a lot of acrylic paint, so I thought it would be fun to try something different and use these alcohol ink markers. I'll link these down below in the description box for you. They're from Amazon and they are fantastic. So we're going to work from darkest to lightest here. So I'm gonna work in probably this order. I'm gonna go October, then Turks, then Olive Dream, then my orange, and then the white last. And so we're just gonna work through the colors that way. And the alcohol ink markers are gonna dry really quickly so we can color, glitter, and then move on to the next color really fast versus having to wait for paint and stuff to dry. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna find all of our number ones. Now, I didn't place these down as perfectly as I probably could have, but that's okay. We are going to stripe this out, so if your lines aren't super duper perfect, that is going to be just fine. You won't be able to really tell in the end, and all of this is handmade anyway, so imperfections should be expected. Okay, so with our marker, I'm literally just going to color my tumbler here so we have a nice colored base just like that and that's going to dry really quickly so we can move on and move through this relatively fast So once we've got our color on, we're going to go in with our adhesive and we're going to glitter these sections. Now I am going to use my Mod Podge for this because it's going to dry quickly. You guys know I love my Crystal Lot glitter glue. That's my favorite thing ever. Um, but when I'm doing projects where we have glitter bumped right up against each other, it's easier to use Mod Podge because it dries so quickly. We can move on to the next color without worrying about contamination. We can brush off any excess that we need to. Um, and I just like to use it for that purpose. If you want to use Tack It, you can use a different adhesive. Whatever you like the best is totally fine. Um, 
just keep in mind of the dry times. So I'm going to go in with my Mod Podge here. I'm just going to paint with my brush a thin little layer. And then we will take our glitter. PRB, I'm going to bottle this. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take our glitter. I'm going to do another coat of Mod Podge, actually. Just... How pretty that glitter is. I love it. All right, so there we go. That's our first color. So I'm going to clean this glitter up. I'll remove as much as I can with my chip brush, and then we'll just do the exact same thing and we'll work our way through the remaining four colors. So for our second color, we're gonna do the same thing. We're using the alcohol ink marker. And now because we've got a glitter spot on there, we're gonna to have to be a little bit more careful when we base paint and when we use our Mod Podge and everything. So I'm just using the edges of the glitter to kind of help me keep everything straight, if that makes sense. So when I go in with my Mod Podge, I'm gonna butt my brush up against the edge of the glitter to make sure that we don't get any adhesive over that glitter and then we'll mess up everything. So. Now that we've got glitter on our cup, we just need to be more and more careful as we work our way through the colors. Here's what the cup looks like after two glitter colors. Now you can see our coverage isn't quite perfect, but we can go through and touch that up later. I just wanna make sure that this is all totally dry um, before we do that, but we can always go through and add you know, extra glitter if we need to. So I'm just gonna go through again and finish our remaining three colors, and then we will let it dry and seal it and epoxy over it. I let my Mod Podge totally dry for at least two to three hours. I wanted to make sure it was really super dry. And then I went in with my extra little coverage pieces. So I'm taking that same Mod Podge and I'm just gonna fill in any gaps where our glitter is missing. We don't really want any holes obviously in our glitter section. So just going through and touching all of those up one by one. And in between each little touch up color section, I waited about 20 to 30 minutes so that the Mod Podge would fully dry before I moved on to the next color. I let my cup sit and dry overnight and then I spray sealed my glitter with two coats of my clear glass spray from Rust-Oleum. I let those coats dry about 30 minutes in between each one and then I added two coats of my Flint Sisters Fast Cure Epoxy to the tumbler. Each of those coats was about 25 milliliters and now at this point our cup is pretty smooth. We just need to do a little bit of cleanup on the top rim and on the bottom rim. 
So first I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to run it along the top rim of my tumbler so I can clean off or scrape off any epoxy that's up there. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go and do my sanding on my top and bottom rims. I'm using a 60 or an 80 grit, I can't remember, sanding block to sand down to a very thin line of stainless steel up at the top rim of our cup. That's going to form the final seal with our epoxy later, so you want to make sure you do that. It does not need to be a big line of stainless steel needs to be really, really, really skinny and small. So when you're sanding, you just wanna hold your sanding block at a 45 degree angle and sand down until you see that super thin line of stainless steel. All right, so my tumbler has been sanded down. The top rim is totally clean. The bottom rim has been sanded. And now we can go in and add all of our vinyl work and then finish off the bottom, add our decal and all of that fun stuff. So for our striping, we're going to be using, of course, my favorite champagne gold textured metallic vinyl from Tech Rock Craft. And then I've also got some super thin white stripes cut out here. This is just regular white vinyl. I will link this down below for you. It's my favorite white vinyl, but you can use whatever you want. So we're going to start with our gold. And these stripes are going to go right in the middle section to stripe out our vinyl and our glitter stripes. I'm gonna start at the back where my vinyl seam is and I'm just gonna rotate my cup on my cup cradle and that's gonna help me keep everything straight. I always struggle with vinyl striping. So I'm just gonna to try to get it as straight as possible, make sure that everything meets up really well and straight in the back. And then I'll just cut off the excess with my craft knife and I'm gonna repeat that same process on the bottom part. Okay, so now that my gold striping is added, we're done with that and we're just going to go through with our white and we're gonna do the same thing that we did when we did like our other stripes. We're going to take our thin stripe of white and we're basically just going to line out each stripe. And I'm gonna go from the top all the way down to the bottom. So I want these to like look like one stripe and then what we'll do is go through and we'll just remove the vinyl from the middle. And then I'll set that aside and if I run out, I'll use those instead. But I really would like these to be as lined up as possible. So I'm gonna just bring those down all the way basically to the bottom of the tumbler and then that will get all covered up. And then we can just continue doing that all the way around the cup. Actually, I think so I don't waste these. I'm just gonna line these up the best I can because I really don't wanna waste the vinyl. So I'm gonna line these little pieces up. And I just really want everything to look straight. So as long as it's straight, we should be okay. But do it however you want, whatever you think is the best technique, go for it and do that and it will be fine. Once I finished all my striping, I did seal my vinyl with a coat of polycrylic and then I added a coat of epoxy to my tumbler. And this coat was fairly thin. It was about 15 milliliters. After our coat of epoxy, this is what our cup looks like. The only thing left is to finish off the bottom. I was planning on putting a decal on this, but now that I'm looking at it, I think it just looks really cute by itself. So I'm not gonna do a decal. For the bottom, what we're going to do is just cut out a circle of this same pattern vinyl and put it on the bottom and then we'll finish it off. So step one, of course, is to measure how wide or how big we need our circle to be. So I'm going to go about 2.77 inches wide, and that might bring the circle around up here a little bit. And that's totally fine with me because I want it to cover up all of this anyway. So we're going to go about 2.77, 2.78. I ended up cutting 2.8 just to make everything even. I'm going to do my best to get this centered on the bottom 
And then from the middle, we'll push out, making sure we don't have any wrinkles or bubbling or anything as we go along. And if you do, you can just cut them with your craft knife, push the air out and it'll be fine. So this doesn't perfectly cover up the ends, but I think it looks good enough that when you're looking at the cup, you're not gonna be like, what the heck is that, you know? So there's that. So now we'll epoxy this and I will see you when we're all done. All right, so after our final two coats of epoxy, this tumbler is all done. Here is the final design. I really, really love how all of these colors go together. This is definitely giving me all of the fall feels. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye. Why do I get out of breath anytime I talk? Is there something wrong with me? There's probably something wrong with me. All the thoughts just left my brain. Maybe? <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am? Please return to your assigned seat. And I will see you guys... See you guys right now. See you guys right now when we go make this video. And that's it for this. Ooh, that's it for this video. You haven't even started yet. That's it. Goodbye.